Let's play Go Fish using friends of 10. You're going to need a deck of cards. You're going to take all the pictures out of the card so you just have the numbers there. You'll need some counters, something to write with, some paper and a tens frame. Go Fish can be played lots of different ways, but this time the aim of the game is to play partners of 10 with your cards. So you might call them partners of 10 or you might call them friends of 10, but you're trying to match up the pairs with your cards. Okay, so we've got our equipment ready here. And if, as you can see, Katerina, she's gonna make her friends of 10 using a tens frame. And then she's gonna write her friends of 10 over here. I'm gonna try and draw my friends of 10 when I get them. And I'm going to um, try and draw it in a way that I can look and know. All right, let's play the game. All right, I'm gonna go first. And I'm going to ask Katerina, do you have a four? Yes. And she does have a four. Oh, I'm going to make a friends of 10. My friend of 10 is six and four is a friend of 10. And I'm going to have a go at drawing that. I'm going to draw them just like I see them on the card, which is the same way you would see them on the dice. So I'm going to draw my friend of 10. So I've got six. And I've got four. So six plus four is 10. So I've got one friend of 10 over here. What do you need, Katerina? Do you have a three? Yes, I do. Did you make a friends of 10? Yes. She's gonna make it with her counters now. Have a go. Start from this side for me, Katerina. So she's making her three first. Let's have a look at the tens frame. She can see that there's three and she needs seven more. How do you know that there's seven more there, Kat? What can you see? Seven squares. You can see seven squares, but can you see, how can you see it? Can you see four and three more make seven? Yes. Okay, keep going. How would you write that, Katerina? Three and seven, it's a friend of 10. Yes, that's a great friend of 10. Let's see if we can keep going. Oh, okay. Do you have an eight? Oh, this is getting good. I've got another friends of 10. I had two and I knew that I needed eight more to make a friends of 10. I'm going to prove it with some of my drawing here. Have a look. Just check that you can still see that. Yes, good. So I'm going to draw my two first. And I'm going to have a go at drawing eight. I'm going to draw it a bit different to the card. I'm going to draw... There's my two, and I'm gonna draw some doubles. I know double four is eight, and I've drawn it that way. Two and eight, two plus eight equals 10. That's my friends of 10. Katarina, can you clear your board so you can start again? our pairs over here. You might pile them up next to you. Do you have a five? Oh, I do have a five. She's going to use her tens frame again. Oh, I'm going to stop there, Katarina. Have a look. How many did you put here? Five. And how many more to get to 10? Five. Oh, I love how the tens frame can really help you see that. Can you show me? How 
would you write that, Katerina? Ah, that's right, five and five does make 10 and she's proved it on the tens frame as well. Well done. All right. Oh, do you have... Do you have a nine? Goat fish. Ah, so that means I need to get one from the pile and I need to get one and I didn't actually get a nine. So then Katerina, you need to have your go. Do you have a nine? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I don't know who the win is going to be here. Okay. okay, do you have a seven? Yes. Ah, oh, hang on a minute. A seven and a three. Katarina made a three and a seven. So this is now called a turnaround fact. It's still a friend of 10, but it's the other way around. This is how Katarina's looked. It was a three and a seven, and now mine is a seven and a three. So I'm going to draw it a little bit different now. So I need to make seven first. So I know four and three more make seven. So I'm gonna put that here, and then three more again. Makes 10. So seven plus three equals 10. Okay, we're gonna stop the game there, but the person who ends up with all their cards gone, they're the winner of the game. But that's how you're gonna have a go at playing friends of 10. You can draw them or you can prove them using your tens frame. All right, have a go. Today we saw partners of tens in a few different ways. We saw five and five or double five is 10. We also saw seven and three makes 10. Or we had a turnaround fact, three and seven makes 10. I wonder how many friends of 10 or partners of 10s you can make today.